Hey guys, it's Amy. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make chocolate bars with the inclusions or textures on the surface. All right, so first we need to get our mold nice and shiny and clean. So the way that I do that is I use a little bit of vodka, put it on a cotton ball, not too much. You don't want it sopping wet. You don't want too much of it in there. And then you're just gonna very gently clean the mold with the cotton ball. Make sure you get into all the little cracks and crevices. If you're using a mold that has more detail to it, do make sure that you get into all the little lines. Then afterwards, if you feel like the vodka has not evaporated yet, then you can use a, a dry cotton ball just to go back over it to make sure it's nice and dry. The reason that we do this is to remove bacteria, but it also helps us get a really nice shine on the chocolate. Now, once that's done, we're gonna start with putting in the inclusions. Today I'm using roasted hazelnut halves, some cinnamon wafers, and freeze-dried cherry pieces. All right, so next up, we're gonna cover this with a, with a little bit of a piping of chocolate. Now, the reason that we do this is to hold the textures or the inclusions, as they're called professionally, in place so that when we pour the chocolate in, it doesn't um, go directly down to the surface of the mold. So you can think of this as kind of like a glue. Now we don't want to tap the mold too much at this point to let the chocolate settle because we don't want it going underneath the inclusion. That's not the point. The point is to just hold it in place so that when we do pour the chocolate in, it doesn't disrupt those inclusions. Once you're happy with that, you can either leave it at room temperature if your room temperature is not over 20 degrees Celsius, or you can pop it in the refrigerator for about two to three minutes. And then when you take it out, don't add the chocolate until your mold has come more to room temperature. So maybe leave it out for about five minutes before pouring your chocolate in. All right, so now you're gonna pour your chocolate in. At this stage, you can also tap the mold. As you can see in the video here, I'm using an offset spatula just to settle the chocolate down a little bit into the cavities. So give it a little tap, not too much. Again, we don't want it going too far under the inclusions, but we do want to get those air bubbles out. And then use your offset spatula or any kind of bench scraper to scrape away any excess chocolate. I like to use my fingers sometimes. And then we're just gonna pop that in the fridge to set about five minutes, or if you have a room temperature of about 18 degrees, you can leave it out to set at room temperature. Full crystallization on the bars will happen after about 24 hours, but you can eat them straight away. To take them out of the mold, you can twist it a little bit like an ice cube tray if it's not coming out straight away. Turn it upside down. If you need to, you can give it a gentle tap with the handle of your offset spatula just to release the chocolate. And there you go, beautiful textured bars with the inclusions on the surface. All right guys, that's it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again next time. All right, all right.